not in these streets. And I'm just like you. We get in locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. We fulfill the prophecies. And I'm just like you. You might be light, I might be dark. But I'm just like you. We kill each other over colors. And I'm just like you. I'm in these ghettos, in these slums. And I'm just like you. They call you nigga, call me spit. And I'm just like you. You were 1619, I was 1492. We get in shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. We get in locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. Shalom. Welcome to FCN Quick News of the Day. I'm your host, Captain Severus. And in news today... South Carolina. Lindsey Graham says black people can go anywhere in South Carolina if conservative. Republican senator made comments in televised conversation with his rival, Jamie Harrison, who is black. Right. So this is for our people who say they are, they are free. A lot, lot of times you, you'll run into the Israelites who teach you uh, where the Bible says you are, we are still in the place of our captivity. Because we have sinned and broken the laws of God, we are yet this day in our captivity. But we have a lot of our people that say, no, I'm free. Well, read it again from the top. Let's see what your good old friend, uh, Lindsey Graham, Senator Lindsey Graham has to say. Lindsey Graham says black people can go anywhere in South Carolina, if, if conservative. If conservative, meaning if you are part of the Republican Party. Go ahead, come on. Republican senator made comments in televised conversation with his rival, Jamie Harrison, mm -hmm. who is black. Scroll down to the video. Is there the video? No, we don't have it. Okay, go down. In a televised campaign event, U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina said African Americans and immigrants can go anywhere in his home state, but they just need to be conservative. They just need to be conservative. They need to be safe. Is that the first time that ever happened in our, our history? Well, let's see how true the Bible is, because the Bible brings out that history. Go to uh, Maccabees. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 41. Uh -huh. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. King Antiochus, a white Grecian king, Greek king, come on. That all should be one people. All should be one, come on. That everyone should leave his laws. Le everyone leave their laws, leave their custom, their heritage to do what? So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Right, come on. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. Right. Just fast forward to 2020. Now you have a lot of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who have cited and labeled themselves Republicans, Democrats, and have forsaken the heritage, which is God's commandments, and their heritage as the Israelites. Go on. And everyone should leave his laws. And the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, Many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem mm -hmm. and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange law of the land. Are you conservative now, right? So now we have our oppressors who are speaking against us and saying, listen, you will not find peace in your land of your captivity unless you choose a side, right? Go back to the article. Go back to it. Go ahead. Graham made the comment in a televised conversation with his political rival, former South Carolina Democrat Party Chair Jamie Harrison, mm -hmm. the first African-American to serve in the role. Agreed. He made the remark in a context of political careers and said... Harrison would lose because he is a Democrat. Because he what? Because he's a Democrat. <laughs> That's one of our people who have sided and labeled himself a Democrat, putting false hope into the nation that cannot do nothing. Get that in Lamentations for me. Lamentation 4.17. All right? A lot of our people have sided. They label themselves uh, uh, Democrats, have followed the ways of their uh, oppressors, followed the ways of their nation. Right? Read. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 17. Come on. As for us, our eyes has yet failed us. The us is the Israelites. Read. For our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not 
Save us. By labeling ourselves Democrats, Republicans, going out to vote. We are that's showing that we have put our hope in a nation to save us. God said that nation will do nothing. That is vain help. From there, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and uh 29. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. Thou shalt grope at noonday mm -hmm. as the blind gropeth in darkness. Come on. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. You will not prosper. I don't care what, what side you choose. They both are the destruction of our people. They both have the same agenda, the destruction of the Israelites. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Only what? Only oppressed. Read. And spoiled even more. Go back to the article. Back, 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 back to the article. Come on. And said Harrison would lose because he is a Democrat, not because he's black. Which is a lie. Can you keep on. Do I believe our cops are systematically racist? No. Do I believe South Carolina is a racist state? No. Oh, man. That's another lie. That's how you know they, their minds are continually lying. They're always lying. So you're telling me all the atrocities, the, the, the years of slavery, the years of the uh, black codes, you're telling me all that, even uh, uh, convict leasing, you're telling me all that, still you, you consider your uh, law enforcement not to be racist? Come on, not to have hatred? Pull up the article, come on. Let me tell you why. To young people out there, young people of color, young immigrants, this stop, is a stop. great When state. it says young people of color, young people of immigrants, that's talking about the blacks and Hispanics. That's what he's talking about, the blacks and Hispanics. When he says young people of color, black folks, young immigrants, that's you, uh, so-called uh, Hispanics, Native Indians, right? Read on. This is a great state. Read. Come on, come but on. But one thing I can say without any doubt. Come on. You can be an African-American and go to the Senate. But you just have to share our values. We, didn't we just read that in uh, uh, First uh, Maccabees? Remember, they wrote this in law. They made it into a policy, a law, where we would have to leave and follow their custom, their religion. Right? So the Bible says we will only be oppressed, spoiled evermore, and no man shall save us. Meaning there would be no Obama to come to change anything. There will be no Clinton to change anything. Your pastor won't do anything. Going out and vote won't do anything to help you because God is doing this thing, right? Go give me Habakkuk. No, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 52. Lamentations 3, 52. Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 52. Mm -hmm. Mine enemies chase me sore like a bird without cause. Without what? Without cause. Come on. They have cut off my life in the dungeon. Now jump down to 62 now. 62. Uh-huh. The lips of those that rose up against me and their device. And their what? And their device against me all the day. They device against me all day. For them to go ahead and set things up in order like that, what, you're, what we're reading about is a, 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 a proud man. A man who hates us, who's go going ahead and set things in order where he says you won't find peace in your own neighborhood if you are not found as a conservative. You hear that? Read on. The lips of those that rose up against me and their device against me all the day. All the day. Come on. Behold, they're sitting down and they're rising up. I am their music. We're taking for a joke. All right, from there, jump to uh, Lamentations 2 and 16 and 17. Jump up. Lamentation chapter 2, verse 16. All thine enemies have opened their mouths against go. thee. Senator, uh, what is it, Ramsey? What, what was his name? Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, read. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Mm -hmm. Certainly, this is the day we looked for. Come on. We have found. We have seen it. The Lord had done that which he had devised. Mm -hmm. He had fulfilled the word which he commanded in the days of old. Right. At the end of the day, it was the Lord who was doing this. Why? Because we forsook his commandments, so he sent our enemies against us. Read. He had thrown down and hath not pitied and had caused thine enemies to rejoice over thee. That's what they're doing now. That proud talk is our enemies rejoicing over us. Read. 
He hath set up the horn of thine adversary. Right? So that's what we're reading about. We're reading about where we are still under the curses of God, where we need to rise up as a nation, as a people, keep God's commandments so that the Lord could overturn these curses on us. Right? Go to now Habakkuk 2 and 4. Let's get more now. Habakkuk 2 and 4. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 4. Come on. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, uh -huh. is not upright it's in him. It's not right in him. For him to talk so proudly against us, that's, his soul is not right. God is saying this. Read. But the just shall live by his faith. His what? But the just shall live by his faith. Read. Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine. By lies. That's what politics politicians do. They transgress with lies. Read. He is a proud man. He's a what? He is a proud man. Uh-huh. Neither keeper at home. Read. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. Come on. And is as death. Mm -hmm. And cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heap unto him all all people. So it's not enough. It's not enough what he has. Not only he has rulership over the world and other nations, his policies are going forth. Not only that he has us in subjection at, at a lower state, we fill in the prison system at, uh, at an alarming rate. That's not enough for him. Now he wants us to fully convert to his, his ways, which most of our people are now. All right, They put, a, put their trust in a nation that can't save them. That's what we're seeing right now. Right, So this is the speech of not only one man, but that's the thought of all the so-called white man, the whole nation, the whole people. The Bible says he's a proud man. Read on. And heapeth unto him all people. Come on. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Come on. And a taunting proverb against him? Mm -hmm. And say, woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his. And that's the end result of that proud man. All the nations will soon turn on this wicked nation that uh, speaks proudly against them, uh, speak proudly against those who you have in subjection. Lord said, woe unto him. Read. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. Thick clay. That's the power, the policies that he have in place. That, uh, that military might that he has in place. Read. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake? That shall vex thee. Read verse 8 now. Verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. Come on. And all remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because men's blood and for the violence of the land, uh -huh. of the city, and of all that dwell therein. All right. So that's the, that's the end result. What's going to happen of that proud man? That same proud man that mocks us daily, that says we won't find peace unless we are found to be conservative. The Lord says, listen, your days are numbered. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.